It was the fans' choice. Yes, for Svensson will represent Team Europe. And with just two votes in it, Chris Barnes, Captain America himself, will represent Team USA. Both of these players have already put a singles point on the board for their respective teams in this session. Yes, for Svensson, hot off the lane after victory over Kyle Troop, Matt McNeil and Phil Yates. This is poised to be an absolute thriller. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, and it's a repeat of a, a singles match last year. Mind you, different circumstances back then. USA were 14 8 up, and Chris Barnes delivered. He defeated Jesper Svensson by 267 points to 256, and had seven strikes. I think he needs something similar in this one, Matt. Yeah, Phil, you know, Jesper coming through again for Team Europe, and we, we seem to be saying that every single year. I think Jesper Svensson, as Dom said, is the best player on the team, and he's been improving it year in and year out. And he's going to give Chris Barnes everything he can handle, although Chris, to his credit, uh, put up a really nice 250 game earlier in the day, and watching him in practice, he had a pretty good ball reaction, so I think this match is going to be decided by who makes the most great shots. It's the oldest player on Team USA against the youngest player on Team Europe. And the veteran there, vexed. Yeah, Chris just didn't get out of that ball very well, and we saw him struggle with that a little bit in the match. Chris not happy with that result. A big sigh from Chris Barnes at the end of the first session last year, remember? The USA led 6-1. Could it be 5 through Europe 12 months later? Yeah, the possibility for the Europeans to have a two-point advantage after the first session compared to with last year is definitely a welcomed sight. Here's Yes for Sensen with the opening offering in the last singles match of the day. <laughs> Turn to find gravity, the one. Well, this, this is what power gets you, pure and simple. That one on the, the left-hand side just dropping. Not quite at the last moment, but Svensson's power, well, it's extraordinary. You know, Phil, Chris was, in his earlier match today, he was able to kind of stumble his, stumble his way through the first half of the game. Come on strong at the end at... Uh, I don't think Jesper Svensson is going to afford him that opportunity. He's going to need to throw a lot more shots just like that last one. <laughs> and this is what made it, has made Chris Barnes such a great player for all the years. In case anyone was wondering if he made a move. Barnes won his first PBA Tour title in Erie, Pennsylvania in 1999. When Svensson was four. <sighs> let it go, let it go, let it go. Yes, for taking a re rack. This is making friends. Do not nice. like the looks of the alignment of the pins, and sometimes. Phil, a player does that for one of two reasons. He'll look at the pins, he'll say, ah, this pin's a little off spot. He wants everything to be perfect because he knows how important every single shot is. Or he wants to buy some time to collect his thoughts, make sure he can put a great shot online. It was well worth the wait from a European perspective. 
Jesper is definitely creating some area out on the lane. You'll notice that ball is further right down lane off his hand. And look at that bend. He's bending in his waist. He's trying to motion the ball to not hook. He says, Don't overhook. I know I pulled it a little. Jesper's look is definitely getting very good. And it's going to take everything that Chris Bars has to keep up with the Iceman from Sweden. Just another carbon copy shot of the last couple we've seen from Chris Barnes. Even at age 51, he still creates so much power so effortlessly because his fundamentals are so sound. For any youngster coming up in the game, if you have sound fundamentals, it can be, bowling can be a sport you can be very, very good at for a very long time. Svensson continue to be inspirational. Ooh, now that a chink in the armor. Well, in America, we call this lead the bucket. And for a left-hander, it's going to be the pins three, five, six, and nine. That's caused by the ball rolling out and not having hitting power when it gets to the pins. My guess, Jesper did not catch all of that delivery and has a very tough spare here. Yeah, it wasn't a bargain bucket, was it? No, and if there's any, if there's any tough part about shooting buckets here, that is it, because when you have a 38-foot lane condition where the ball wants to hook a lot, shooting a spare like the bucket can be very, very difficult. Because you have to get the ball to drive through the sleeper pin, in this case for Jesper, which was the nine. So let's see if Chris Barnes can take advantage. Watch Chris Barnes fall off of it here. You see him fall, fall off it at delivery, and that, that's a general indication that the shot is going to be pulled. When a player falls off to the right, generally they pull it to their left. Chris getting very fortunate there just to leave the four pin, however. A routine spare. Simply extraordinary. It's been the story of the night. And one we never thought we would tell. It's one after the other. Well, I, I, I must just be black clouding the players here, Phil, because I'm saying these spares are routine, which they generally are for these people, but they have, uh, they have found a way to make them very, very difficult. And it is in the heads of these players. And Esper, who is reeling, has now found himself in a position with a strike here to put the Europeans up by 10 through four frames. They are killers. They really are. And Phil, that, that right there is how you create momentum shifts in the sport of bowling. You you wait for your opponent to make a unforced error and then you hop all over it just like Jesper did. dish up another examination yeah it tends to work out that way if you if you miss one you often get to shoot at another one pretty quickly that was just a just a bad shot by Chris <laughs> oh, 
Well, Jesper with the strike here can put the Europeans up by 21 and, and start distancing themselves at the halfway point of this match. And, you know, Phil, for the Europeans, I really feel this could be a big moment for them to end this session in a 5-3 advantage. The trademark pose before the ball is delivered. Thundered down the lane. Well, I think that was the best shot of the night from Jesper Svensson. This shot was just absolutely labeled. And watch him hold the pose. It just doesn't get any better than that. Phil, when you see a player posing at the line, it's a pretty good tip off that that's the best they can give you. Response from Chris Barnes, but he cannot escape the theory that the damage might already be done. That's a good point, Phil. The Americans are down by 21 here, and yes, just has to keep making great shots and allow his power to do what it does, and that's knock over a lot of pins. But as we saw in the third frame, anything can happen if there is a miscue. The Europeans up, high-fiving, loving life. The Americans on the bench, silent. Well, the five-pin, not generally a pin that is a late faller for <laughs> Jesper. I think uh, Jesper certainly feels that the Europeans were probably owed that one. As Stu said, they, they feel like they haven't gotten a whole lot of breaks in the last few years. Barnes keeps on rolling, keeps on the pressure, and that's what he's got to do. Yeah, Chris has to continue to strike and just hope that Jesper has a repeat of what happened in the third frame. Maybe he doesn't catch all of the shot or maybe he gets a little, a little slow. But uh, I'll tell you what, you don't get to the level of Jesper Svensson by making too many miscues. exactly what you want. You want your opponent to think that their best still isn't good enough. And you hope that takes their mind off of their bowling. Just pure raw power by Jesper Svensson. And, and Chris Barnes just has to keep answering and, and keep putting Jesper in the position where if he misses, the Americans possibly have a chance to take this game. Well, in his wonderous match in the Weather Cup, to include the Baker earlier on and then the, the singles he played, now this, Chris Barnes continuing to fight. Well, there's no quitting any of these players, but 
especially a proven veteran like Chris Barnes. He, he hasn't won what he's won throwing in the towel early, I'll tell you that, Phil. Yes, we're taking his time, making sure everything is perfect. He knows how important these last three frames are going to be. Wait a little longer. They're a little tacked up now, you know. Holding the wrist, is that anything to worry about, Matt? No, no, I don't I don't think so at all, Phil. That's something I've seen Jesper do many, many times over in the States when he's competing. I, it might have been just maybe... Uh, I think what distracted him was he, he heard a noise or a creak as he took his took his first step, so... He wants everything to be perfect. He's going through his routine again, just as he normally would. Eight frames. Seven strikes for Sensational Spence. Sensational, definitely the word. He has fired this crowd up and got them solely behind the Europeans. And once again, the bell is tolling for Chris Barnes and the Americans if they do not continue to strike. This game's going to be over. Long reset. Well, some good interaction here with the with the crowd and the players. Chris Barnes doing just what Jesper did. Resetting, making sure everything's perfect, go through that pre-shot routine. That certainly well could be. This shot drifting high for Chris. He didn't get it. You heard him yell push. He did not get out of it as cleanly as he has his others. And Chris paying the ultimate penalty of drifting slightly high. This is a makeable split, though. Phil, that's, that's probably one of the, this is one of the worser breaks I've seen watching bowling. He cuts it in front of the pin. And so seldom does that happen when shooting a 4-9 split. That's just, Chris really just got robbed on that attempt. I mean, that should have been made. But it basically puts this match out of reach as Jesper Svensson will just need to stay in the building these last two attempts. Mark of any kind to close it out for the Europeans. <laughs> yes, Bruce Manson, take your time on this spare. Draw the line, see the line, put it on the line.
It's a no doubter. Two singles performances from Svensson to cap the night. And what a night it's been for the hosts. You need one. Momentarily, the scores are tied, but while Elvis might have left the building, Svensson will not. No, just a wonderful performance by Jesper these last two games. 250, 260. Phenomenal performance, and you can't ask anything more from your star player. I, I stand corrected, Philip. Pair of 260s for Jesper if he sh should strike on this ball. Overcome the USA captain Chris Barnes, and what about this scoreline? Five three to Europe. The Americans came here. As